hello everyone and welcome back to our channel the fortunates and if you are new here please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive future notifications from us so today in our series of dimensionless number we'll discuss about byte number this number is useful in heat transfer calculations mainly and what is byte number so byte number is defined as the ratio of internal conductive resistance to external convective resistance this may also be given as h lc by k where h is convective heat transfer coefficient lc is characteristic length and k is thermal conductivity which is thermal conductivity of solids so if you look into the second point we have one more expression for byte number now before discussing this expression let me give you a picture of how we come to this expression so for this you consider one spherical metallic ball and you consider that the inner temperature or the center temperature of this ball is t not now the temperature at the surface of this ball is ts and there will be some air flowing around this ball which will have a temperature of t infinity that is basically the ambient temperature so in this case you can give the byte number as the temperature gradient from the center of this ball to the surface divided by the temperature gradient from the surface to the ambient condition so this is how you define the byte number here now we have number of different values of byte number okay so if our byte number is greater than 40 what does it mean it basically means that the external resistance is very small and by the external resistance we mean that the temperature gradient from the surface of the metallic ball to the ambient will be negligible in this case similarly if the byte number is less than 0.1 this means that the temperature gradient from the center of the ball to the surface will be negligible and lastly if the byte number lies between 0.1 and 40 this means both the internal as well as the external resistance which contribute to the heat transfer phenomena so there will be a temperature gradient from the center to the surface as well as there will be a temperature gradient from the surface of the ball to the ambient condition now if our byte number is less than 0.1 meaning there is negligible internal resistance in such a case we use it for lumped system analysis so what do we understand from lumped system it means that there will be a uniform temperature throughout the spherical solid ball during the heat transfer and in this case if we want want to find out the temperature of this ball at any instant of time we can define it in terms of byte number and fourier number to understand this fourier number in detail you can visit to our channel and check out our playlist on the dimensionless number now let's get into the difference between the byte number and the nusselt number so if you look into the definition of byte number or the nusselt number it is given by h lc by k but the k here which is circled for byte number this k stands for thermal conductivity of solids like of a metallic solid ball whereas in the case of nusselt number the k is the thermal conductivity of fluids if you want to understand the nusselt number in detail you can visit on the link in the top right corner of this video so finally let's go into the physical significance of this number so as it was obvious from the definition the byte number helps us to understand the interaction between the conduction in a solid and the convection at its surface the smaller values of byte number signifies it tells that the conduction is dominating the heat transfer process and the larger value of byte number 
signifies that the convection is dominating the process. Also, if the byte number is less than 0.1, it is used in lumped system analysis. With this, I am signing off. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. And if you like this content, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.